Hey folks, welcome back to my shed. So it's Wednesday. It isn't Wednesday, not today, but it is for you. I've got myself a new little toy. And it is this, a black box, the bowl saver. Now I got this the other day from Axminster and I will leave a link below for this bad boy. But um, I've always kind of been intrigued about this thing or about the ability to be able to, you know, save on, you know, the waste that you get from a bowl. So let's say a bowl like this. Boo binga. Boo binga. What I should be able to do is hollow out this and make two bowls from it. So um, that's kind of intriguing. So what I thought I would do is see if we can assemble uh, a bit of a CD there this uh, system somehow and see how it works I've no idea how it works but um, I was talking to Axminster the other day and I thought to myself you know what I'll try this and see if it works see if I can get two bowls out of one blank so let's get this set up I won't bore you to death with the setup I'll see if I can get it set up off camera and then we will get this bowl on the lathe and see what we can do. Boo binga. Oh look, from New Zealand. That's where I'm from. It's even got my name on it. I'm not from New Zealand really. Okay, so I reckon I've got this set up correctly now. I hope anyway. Uh, the instructions were fairly straightforward but I did have a little look on YouTube just to double check that I wasn't making any mistakes. And I think this is right. So you basically got, I've got two blades with this. And as far as I can see, I can make, uh, two different bowl sizes i may be wrong because it does actually say yeah well it's four bowls four bowls it says on it so there must be a way of making the blades go in so that they do different sizes but i've got the small one on at the moment uh, and i've rigged this up so it goes onto your um fits onto your lathe fairly straightforward into your tail stock uh with this little device in here then that just tightens up uh, you bolt all this together on top and put the blade in that just loosens up and then you can change the blade to whatever blade you want um, and that's it really and this just slots into there so you can just move this along we'll just loosen this up you can move this along like this and get this set up first let's do something with this boo binga bowl boo binga actually i'm not happy with this small bowl blank i'm gonna find a bigger one to use into my old shop if anyone remembers this this is my old workshop so uh, right we need to find a bigger bowl Well, I found a bigger one, but I don't really have anything really thick. I'm not too sure if, it, if you have to kind of have really big, thick pieces of wood to do this, but this is a much bigger uh, diameter. So, I uh, don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I've got this set up now and I've got a bigger blank for this uh, because I'm not too sure whether or not the other blank was big enough. Uh, you might be able to hollow out the smaller ones, but I'm actually not too sure. So I've worked out now how to get more skinnier kind of bowls out of it. You've just got to angle this slightly over and obviously you've got to measure this to see whether or not you want to go in. Well, see how far you want to go in basically. So I've set this up now to take a, a fairly shallow kind of bowl out. So this is all ready to go. So let's give it a bash. There we go. 
that just popped out though that would normally be waste which would end up like this but now what we've got is another blank that we can use to make another bowl out of and there's our main bowl what I would probably normally do actually in this instance would be to finish this side first I put a tenon on um, you know one side mount this up like I've done but finish this side at the underside of this main bowl then flip it then put the bowl saver on that's probably what I would have done it's pretty cool actually I kind of like it um, so there's the contraption so you can you know adjust this angle uh, to the actual to where you want to go into so the depth you want to go in you just sort of move it out I think there is the measuring sort of like system that you can do but I didn't I just guessed <laughs> don't guess measure properly and then you've got these um you've got two blades on it because you've got, you've got this one and you've got this one i'm not too sure what this one is for at the moment um well i presume another bowl but i don't really don't really know what that one is that in there for because obviously you can't you can't push that in that way so and you can't put that out too much more so don't know i'll have to read up a little bit more about that one at least we managed to get it to work and that was pretty cool fairly easy as well straightforward that took me about two minutes so there we go the bowl saver it saves bowls or rather it makes bowls I'll leave a link below for where I got this from uh, I say it was from Axminster so I'll leave a link below if anyone wants to have a read up a bit more about it or grab one head on over so there it is a bowl saver I think that's a pretty neat bit of kit actually and I'm chuffed that I picked this up because there is a lot of waste when you're making these bowls and if you can make two or three bowls out of the same blank well that's kind of cool so now we've got the big one and we've got a little one that we can make as well the only thing i would suggest is we go for a change of name from the bowl saver to the bowl maker i mean it makes bowls i obviously get 50 percent of the take though right well that's it for today folks nice and short and not even much of a waffle in there don't forget if you don't follow me on instagram please head on over to my instagram account there's links below the one underneath that is my personal one if you want to follow me there i put up some other weird things going on in my life that may not be making related still got a few tools carbide sets these ones on my website if you fancied a funky carbide tool set for your workshop Blue steel. I've got quite a few funky ideas coming up so and I've had so many more people come over to the channel welcome this is not a regular making video so if you're wondering why the hell have I subscribed to this guy I do make some funky things and they're mainly on Fridays well actually no they're always on Fridays so Wednesdays is kind of for me to do little bits and pieces that I kind of like to do like maybe reviewing a product that I might have bought or someone's given to me or mixing up the channel with making some lights and things like that and obviously me waffling on so if you like those types of mix-ups come back on Wednesdays if you're just there for just the funky looking projects like these kind of things then come back on Fridays but obviously I'd love but obviously I'd love to see you on both days well I won't actually be seeing you you'll be seeing me either way Please hang around, I've got some really cool ideas coming up. Well, at least I think they're kind of cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you, hopefully, this Friday.